it's officially the first video of 2021 and I'm excited for the new year to come. And as I was thinking about what I was going to talk about for this first video, I thought about textile and surface pattern design. I've actually met a lot of people recently who are really interested in it. And it's one of the areas in fashion that are really creative and a lot of fun. And I really wanna be creative and have lots of fun this year. So today I want to talk to you about six different types of repeat layouts that you can use as a surface pattern designer. I'm also going to share with you the two most common if you're working in fashion and I'll share with you some resources that you can use if you are creating them in Illustrator or Photoshop. One of the really cool things about surface pattern design is that there's so many uses for it. I mean, if you think about all the places you see patterns, it's endless. Not just garments, but also bedding, bath towels, kitchen towels, party and its seasonal accessories, tablecloths, medical scrubs, it's endless. So there's a vast market for the skill, especially if you can do it well and you're really creative. The first type of repeat goes by a few names, basic, side-by-side, -side, full drop, it's the easiest repeat to create because it's one motif or one set of motifs that's copy and pasted right next to and right underneath the last motif. For very basic motifs, this can look like a stamp and it's usually referred to as a block repeat. But there are more complex prints that use side-by-side -side repeats. They are sometimes referred to as continuous repeats, but it still falls in the same category. The second type is a brick repeat. This layout makes the motif look like it's a line, like a brick wall. The motif is copied horizontally and then offset when it's copied vertically. Illustrator's pattern tool will allow you to choose how much you want to offset it, but usually it's offset by a half. The third type is a half drop repeat. This layout is similar to the brick repeat, except it's a line like a brick wall on its side. The motif is copied vertically and then offset when it's copied horizontally. The fourth type is a diamond repeat. With this layout, the motif is arranged in diagonal rows. Next, you have the mirror repeat. And for this layout, you create a mirror image of the motif across a horizontal axis. Many times those motifs are then mirrored again across a vertical axis. I tend to think of this layout for scarves, but you'll see mirror repeats used on other types of products. The last type of repeat is a dot repeat. Most of us think of polka dots when we hear a dot repeat, but this type of layout can be used for any type of motif that's arranged so that it has a dotted look. The motifs are repeated the same distance from each other. My honorable mention is the toss random repeat. For me, this is always up in the air as to whether this is an actual layout because in my opinion, this is a way to design your print, not really a repeat layout, but it tends to be listed when you see roundups of common types of repeats. So I like to add it in. This type of repeat takes motifs and randomly tosses them within a repeat block. You usually see this with florals, but you can do this with anything. Sometimes people list stripes as a kind of repeat, and I guess it is, but I kind of see stripes as their own entity. And then you can also get into directional versus non-directional, which is usually the preference because it's more economical, but that's a totally different conversation and video. Okay, so the two most common types of repeats that you see in fashion are the basic full drop repeat and the half drop repeat. And that's not to say that people don't ask for the other types, but these are the ones that you see most often. And if you're curious about how to best create them in Illustrator and Photoshop, you can check out these videos on my channel. And the last two will also show you how to add the print to a sketch.
Thanks for watching today's video. I've got some great online digital design courses, both live and pre-recorded, as well as freebies that you can take advantage of. So if you're interested and you want more information, make sure you check out the links in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you found it helpful. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.